All right, guys. Well, the Miss USA and the Miss Teen USA 2024 pageants are taking place next week in Hollywood. Joining us now is Miss New Jersey USA, Jabila. I'm going to say it, Nance. You're wrong and you're going to correct me. Uh, Jabila Kundala and Miss New Jersey Teen USA, Julia Livosi. Welcome both of you to the show. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for having us today. And we're happy to have you here. So firstly, congratulations. You are both newly crowned, and I see you're sporting those crowns this morning. So you won only three weeks ago. Uh, that must feel incredible. So Julia, we'll start with you. How does it feel? Oh, it feels great. It's definitely been a whirlwind since I'm moving to college in about a month. So having to balance that responsibility in this, it's been a little crazy, but I am so excited for Teen USA, which is already next week. It's unbelievable to say. I, I just that it really is. I, I, it feels like a whirl, whirlwind just talking about it. Uh, so, Jabali, can you tell us what was your preparation process like, um, given you have a, such a limited amount of time? Yes. Well, firstly, I just wanted to say my name is pronounced Jabuli Kundula. Thank you so much for having me. I know it's a difficult name to say, but um, my preparation for Miss New Jersey USA, I've been preparing for about eight months. And now to only have less than a month to prepare for Miss USA is a little scary, but I've known that this past year has prepared me for Miss USA. So I'm very excited to be here. So you both have accomplished so much, not just in your pageants, but also in your life. Miss New Jersey, tell us about you getting your pilot's license and being featured on Aviation for Women magazine. That sounds incredible. Yes, so I actually started flying when I was 19 years old. It was a lifelong dream for me as Amelia Earhart was my inspiration growing up. And I took that step and I became a private pilot at 20 years old. And now I'm 24 years old, I'm working on my instrument rating and my commercial pilot's license at Coldwell, New Jersey Airport. And I'm at Air Fleet Training Systems. And while I've been preparing for my commercial pilot's license, I was also working at Women in Aviation International, which is the largest nonprofit female-run organization dedicated to empowering more women to join the aviation aerospace industries. So there I worked as the associate editor of Aviation for Women magazine and Aviation for Girls magazines. That is, that's no joke. That is something else. So, all right, Julia, tell us about your disability inclusion podcast. It's called Rise and Shine and Lifeguarding? Yes. Rise and Shine is definitely my passion project. I actually grew up with a disabled mom. And I always notice a lot of misconceptions and a lack of opportunities for her. And so I combined my love of broadcast journalism and I created my podcast, Rise and Shine, where we discuss inclusivity beyond limitations. And I'm going to continue to use my title to advocate for those living with disabilities, like my mom. And as for lifeguarding goes, I this is my third year as an ocean rescue lifeguard. And on the job, I have had five rescues of those, of those struggling in rip currents. And the adrenaline kind of pushes you to do what you have to do to get those saves and it is a rush but we're so well prepared on the job and i'm a very good swimmer so it's it's a it's a really great job yeah wow so this question is for both of you we'll start with jabali what has been your favorite thing about being a new jersey queen oh well i have to say i'm very very excited to have julia by my side i have always wanted a little sister and to now be in a position where I can guide her on this journey as well as learn for myself how to be the best older sister and give the advice for her is really remarkable and I'm so excited to go on this journey to California with her and have this whole year together. And same for you, uh, what's your most favorite thing about being a New Jersey queen, uh, Julia? Oh well first of all that's so sweet, that's exactly how I feel about you Jobly. I love being on this journey with you and being able to grow with you. I've never had an older sister before, so being able to learn from you and see what you do is such an inspiration to me. My favorite thing about this journey and my my reign is making a difference in the world. Just taking, we haven't had that much time to do that many appearances yet, but just taking pictures with kids and, you know, especially young girls, letting them try on our crown, it's really inspirational to them, like seeing their like eyes light, light up when we get to put the crown on their heads. It's, it's a great part of this of this crown. 
Both beautiful answers. So ladies, where can we learn more about each of you and then watch the Miss USA uh, pageant as well and see you guys there? So you can learn more about me on my social media accounts, Jobbly at Jobbly Kundu on Instagram or the at Miss New Jersey USA Instagram, which is Miss NJ USA on Instagram. And you can learn more about both of us on the Miss USA pages about our bios and our mission as Miss New Jersey USA and Miss New Jersey Teen USA and what we plan to do if we were crowned Miss USA and Miss Teen USA. And definitely be sure to watch on the CW Network where we will be televised live for Miss USA and Miss Teen USA. Incredible stuff. Ladies, you guys are both a, a testament to, to women in New Jersey. So thank you both. You're doing a great job. And thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Have a great day. Man, there's something else, huh? Those crowns were extra sparkly. Those crowns were you know? extra sparkly. Uh-huh. I think they're making my five and three-year-old nieces very jealous with the, <laughs> the amount of, of sparkles on those crowns. They're making me jealous with the amount of sparkles on those crowns. But they, they, you know what? Those girls deserve it. That, Like I said, those were I, the... I'm always amazed by the additional things that, you know, the, the beauty queens do, especially yep. these days, you know, because, you know, you kind of have that uh, cliche picture in your mind of the beauty queen. And then they're like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a full on pilot and I encourage women into, and, you know, I work with women who have disabilities. And uh, OK, <laughs> it's amazing. It really is. Yeah, truly, right. truly to, to be to be potentially your next commercial airline pilot. There you go. Absolutely. All right, guys, coming up, we're saying cheers with the best summer sips and tips for pairing wines for your next seasonal soiree.